Hey and welcome to another episode of 365 Thoughts on Confidence. It's day 148 and this morning I started off my day having coffee with a bunch of awesome women who showed up to get together and chat about our confidence and specifically today we were chatting about anticipating resistance because when you start facing your confidence issues, you're going to come up against resistance. Those are those comfort zones that we always struggle with. And I ask some of these beautiful women to share their thoughts on today's thought on confidence. So you're going to see a few new faces, which is always awesome to have company. But first, let's get today rolling. Let's roll the intro. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Abigail and I'm a confidence crusader on a mission to help women elevate their confidence. And I do that through these daily videos, through my specialist women's portrait photography. I also do it through my 365 Thoughts on Confidence book, as well as my online conscious confidence course and workshops, and then monthly coffee meetings that I mentioned, where a bunch of women just get together and open up the conversation about our confidence. So it's all consuming. I'm completely obsessed with confidence because I've identified it as the thing that was holding me back in the growth of my business when I was not getting intentional about my confidence. And I've seen firsthand what is possible when I actually do start paying attention to it and tapping into the depths and the, the wealth of confidence that is residing inside me. And you know what? You have all of that inside of you too. I guarantee you, you just have to peel back the layers and that's what we're doing here every single day. So I want to invite you to join me, subscribe to the channel and let's start getting intentional about our confidence. Are you with me? Awesome. So let's take a look at what today's thought on confidence is. Shine a spotlight on your shortcomings to reveal the path to improvement. Before I give you my thought on today's thought on confidence, let's take a look at what some of the ladies of this morning's coffee meetup had to say about the thought of the day. Hi, I'm Ariana, and uh, looking at that thought of the day, um, I think you, you don't know how to improve before you actually realize what your shortcomings are. So that's a starting point, but I think also we need to focus on our, what we're good at. Uh, once we know what we're not good at, we need to focus on what we're good at and, and get into that zone of genius so that that can shine to the world. Uh, yeah, so I'm Mariana from Mindfield Design and you can find that at www.mindfield.co.za. I have a resistance to being on camera and yet in my industry, um, which is marketing, I know that people are engaging with the people that's behind the business. So they want to see the real person who's actually running the business. They're changing the way that they, that they make their decisions. So they want to see that the person that they're dealing with is authentic, is engaging. And I do think that video and speaking publicly and putting yourself out there as a thought leader, which scares me to death, is something that I'm going to have to overcome if I want to be seen as a real businesswoman and um, so this is really a challenge for me and I'm sure I don't come across as badly as I think I do <laughs> and my name is Judith I'm from Comma Marketing you can find me at www.commamarketing.co.za so I generally come around to doing things from a different perspective is my perspective so I had resistance coming here this morning actually and it's quite interesting the synchronicity of everything that was spoken about today is probably what sparks me most in life the science and the woo-woo as you call it so I feel um, very grateful for that and I also feel that like attracts like so even though we might not feel it we're all in the same space experiencing the same thing having to work through very similar things that's all i have to say that's right good. now <laughs> part two is coming awesome. <laughs> 
as you can see we had an amazing time there was so much connecting i wish i actually had the camera filming while we were having the discussions we went deep we went deep like inside there were goosebumps there were near tears there were aha moments there were revelations there was lots of sharing and it was really there was a lot of connecting so if you are in the cape town area i hold these free events every month you're most welcome to come and join anytime just sign up onto my newsletter the link is down below and you'll be notified for next month's meetup and you know what if you're not in cape town good news i plan to be doing these online as well so you can enjoy your coffee at home and then we have the same discussions through the miracle of video how about that and so yeah looking at today's thought on confidence and we discussed so much of this this morning because the topic was anticipating resistance and anytime you're wanting to make some kind of improvement in yourself you know you want to change you've recognized that there's something not right like you you know that you are not showing up to your fullest potential that means something needs to change something's got to give something is wanting to shift and the unfortunate thing about this whole process of improvement and development and refinement is that you first have to get clarity on what it is that needs to change you have to figure out what's not working and this is a personal journey like this is you are going to go to depths of yourself that you potentially have never gone to before if you are sincere and intentional about making these changes and oftentimes that can be can be a dark place it can be a scary place it can be it can be so um. It can be the thing that you really don't want to have to do. You just, you just want to change without having to do the work, without having to get messy. But I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. You can't have it both ways. You have to, have to, have to do that work. You really have to look at yourself objectively. You have to look at yourself under the fluorescent lights, literally and figuratively. If you're wanting to improve anything about yourself, change anything about yourself, you have to put yourself under the microscope, unfortunately. That is the only way through. And so it means looking at the good, it means looking at the bad, and it means looking at the fugly. There just is no way around it. And it's scary and uncomfortable as that might be it's a necessary process and the thing is what you'll start to see happen what I've experienced anyway is when you start to peel back those those layers and you start to suddenly see a side of you that you've not looked at with any intention or for any great length of time before it'll start to get easier as you get to that place of accepting that you are beautiful with your faults and everything getting to that place of accepting that you were never perfect you there this idea of perfection doesn't exist humans are organic and you may not be the best at everything you may not be the most this or that or anything and that is totally okay like getting getting to that point of being okay with that seeing what your supposed flaws or shortcomings are and loving them anyway that's what this journey is about it's not trying to beat everybody else it's not trying to outsmart or outshine or anything it's not about that comparison it's your journey it's individual everybody else is on their own unique journeys just living their lives and if we all just got to that point of realizing that instead of racing each other and you know feeling like it's a competition then we'd all just focus and like be present in the moment and love our journey love where we are and love that we've still got so much to learn and love that we've still got so much to improve on because that's why we're here about reaching the best version of us the most fulfilled version of us reaching our fullest potential really fully expressing in all aspects and it's it's about accepting where our shortcomings are in comparison to somebody else and then not even needing that comparison in the first place 
letting go of all of that. So doing that work of looking at your supposed shortcomings is just about looking for the opportunities for more growth and for more development for yourself, for your own learning and for your own fulfillment for no other reason. And not judging those shortcomings, don't judge those shortcomings, accept them for what they are and cover them with curiosity. Take that approach, look at it as an experiment and see, well, what else can I find? What else can I improve on? You can't do any of that if you're scared of what you're going to find. So yeah, your ego is probably going to feel a bit bruised in this process. Let your heart take over. Let your soul take over because it is for your greater good that you, you do this part of the journey. It's a necessary part of the journey. That's my thought on today's thought. Let me know your thought. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed it, if something resonated with you, please do let me know if it resonates. If you're watching this and you're like, wow, that clicked something for me. Let me know about that clicking. I'd love to hear if it's making an impact or not. And otherwise, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that notifications button, and share this with a friend of yours who you think will also resonate with the message, with the thought of the day. If you're in the Cape Town area, I'd love to have you join me at my confidence workshop happening this Saturday, the 26th of May. Details are down below. Body, soul, mind, confidence. We're gonna look at it all, the good, the bad, and the fugly, of course, you are divine as you are, just as you are, accepting all of it. Come and join me. It's going to be amazing. We're going to do loads of connecting, even more than we did this morning over coffee. Until then, have a fantastic evening. Show up intentionally today as your most confident self.